Hey everyone, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Adelina and I make videos about living in my tiny house on wheels and living a more intentional life. And I've got the camera oriented the wrong way. Hold on a sec. <laughs> That's better. I've been told by multiple people in the comments that they don't like it when I hold it the other way. So anyways, today I am gonna work on the uh, window covers for these front windows. I wonder if you can see that. Yeah, it's for these two front windows. So the ProMaster has two windows. This one is the one that obviously opens. Um, and I want to build a blackout cover for this. And as with everything else in my no build van build, um, so far I want to do it in the easiest and least expensive way that I can that still works really well. So I have done some research and um, done a lot of sort of thinking about what I could do and I think I have a solution. So the first thing I have to do is build a template for this window um, and then we can work on um, building it. Hopefully it'll work out. You're about to find out. We're, we are about to find out together. So let's get started. Here are the materials I'm going to use for this project. This um, Reflectix, I bought this at, I think it was Home Depot. And so the, it's not hard to find. If you can't find it in a store, find it online. But I'm sure you can find it in any hardware store. Some craft paper. I bought this actually at the post office. One of these Bengta curtains from Ikea. They're the ones that are blackout. They're inexpensive. I think it was $14, $15. They're the same ones that I use on my blackout curtain here. Super easy and inexpensive. Some spray adhesive. Gorilla in this case. Some black duct tape. Scissors and a marker and uh, a pencil actually as well, which I seem to have lost for using, uh, for making out the template. So I'm gonna make them the same way I did these. These are the shades for the back windows. You can see that I've glued the curtain on the back. I've left the reflex, reflectic shiny bit on this side. And the reason is because I wanna be able to put these up when it's sunny to reflect heat out and then flip them over at night when I want blackout. So I don't really care that they're not fancy fabric on this side, I actually want the Reflectix. All right, let's get to making that template. Okay, there's gonna be a lot of rustling sound. So I will fast forward past the process. So what I wanna do is create a template that fits snug to the gaskets over here. Uh, and tucks in here and then just comes around I guess here um, it doesn't need to come all the way to here as long as is the magnets can attach so I'll start with the template all the way around Okay. okay, I think I've got a template. So you, it's, it's fiddly. There is no doubt about it. It's fiddly. So you're just going to have to be patient and hold it up there and trim and, and 
leave it a little bit big so that you can trim a bit more after, but I think that that's good. So now I'm gonna go inside and show you what I'm gonna do next. Well, that fits pretty good. It is going to need a little trimming on this side, but that's not much, just a little bit. And it actually will probably stay in on its own without even magnets, especially once I get the other thickness of the black um, curtain on. Okay, so I'm going to trim this and then we're going to um, cut the other one. Now I'm going to do the curtain bit, um, the black out side. Ouch. I'm told. Uh, so I'm just going to cut a piece bigger than it because we're going to spray glue it on and then I can trim it after. So there's no point in being exact here. We just need a piece that's bigger. Right, Phil? Right. outside and glue these on. This is not a good angle. It's the best I can do, but so we're just going to spray one of these. I'm going to make sure I do opposites <laughs> so I don't have two exactly the same. Um, and then 
I'm going to smooth the fabric on and uh, we'll see how it goes. Like this. So the best way I have found to do this is to spray half, smooth it out, and then spray the other half. That way you're not trying to fit the whole piece of fabric on at once. Be liberal. You will be able to reposition it a little bit. Again, I'm not looking for perfection. I'm just looking for something that will be useful and do the trick and not cost me hundreds of dollars. Hundreds of dollars. Okay, so that side's done. Now we just lift that up and we do this side. Okay. Whoa, that's good. Okay. So now, maybe the other one. So now that we've got that done, we're going to trim around them. Another reason I like these Bengta curtains is that they don't fray, so you don't have to worry about that, which is really nice. So there we go. Now we've got two of these. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim them with black duct tape. Now, are there other things to trim these things with than duct tape? Absolutely. But my goal here is to do something that's quick, easy, not expensive. I could have bought fabric 
of binding, bias tape, webbing, and sewn it on or hot glued it on, but that's just more work. And black tape and black duct tape works. I know this because it's worked on the other shades, the shades for the bunk windows. So this is just an easy way, fast way, inexpensive way to make these things, to trim them up so that they just look nice. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to trim them with the black duct tape. I'm going to try and not get Sophie's hair in here and on me. Uh, she's obviously very interested in what I'm doing. I think what she really wants <laughs> is dinner. Right, Soph? Right? She smells the glue on my fingers. Um, so yeah, let's do this and then we are done. I don't even think I need magnets. I will see when I put them on if I need them or if pressure fit is enough. Obviously, if I pressure fit them, when I open the doors, they won't necessarily stay. But I'm only going to be using them when uh, at night when I'm in for the day. And the reason for having these for the driver's side windows, and um, I am going to be making one for the front windshield, is because if, I mean, I do have a blackout curtain. And that's worked just fine for when I am getting ready for bed or if I want to be stealth sort of thing, um, and I don't want something in my cab windows, and, and I w just want privacy and I want to block out the light so nobody sees that I'm in the back. So that's they, that's worked fine, the curtain has worked fine. But the thing is, I have a swivel seat in my passenger seat and there's all that room in the cab. And when I have that curtain closed, I'm not able to utilize that. I'm not able to sit in that swivel seat or anything like that at night when I want privacy. So having these, will allow me to have access to that space to be able to use that swivel seat in the evening and still have privacy and still be able to black out those windows. So that's why I'm building these. So I'm gonna uh, bring you down a little bit so you can see my fingers. You don't need to see me talk and you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to try and, <laughs> I am gonna have to get out. Hey, 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 get out. I am gonna have to move sofa loaf off of here, but <laughs> What else is new? As soon, like any cat, as soon as you start doing something, that's where they want to be. So uh, let's bring you down and I'll show you what I'm going to do. And then we're basically done these. My knees hurt. Okay, I'm too, I'm too old to be out, down on the floor doing these things. Okay, they're both done. Let's uh, 
really quickly go into the van and fit them and see how they look. Now they're snug, but I like that because that means that I don't need magnets to hold them in. So that's pretty good. That's pretty darn good. Okay, let's get the other side on too. And then um, we'll see how it looks. All right, here's what it looks like from the outside. You cannot tell. See, you can see inside there. You just see clouds, but you know what I mean. And then from here, just black, which is awesome. I'm thrilled, I gotta say. And if I open the door, they fall out. But I don't care because I'm only going to be using them when I'm in for the night. So, and if for anything quick, like just a little privacy, I want to make lunch, I want to have a nap, I want to change, I'll just close my curtain. That's that project. There it is on the other side. I hope you enjoyed it. I am going to be doing the one for the front windshield here. It's going to be slightly different. At least in my mind, it's going to be slightly different. So let's hope it works the, the idea that I have. But like I say, these Reflectics, they're not expensive. You can find them at any uh, hardware store, any home building supply store, and they um, can be used for so many things. I know a lot of people use them to actually insulate or I guess vapor barrier, I'm not sure. I haven't used it for that, but I did use it for my back wind bunk window. The bunk windows up there. And now these, and uh, it works really well. Super easy to use, easy to cut, you saw it. Um, yes, the the uh, duct tape is, it's a bit like snot on a wool blanket, to be honest with you, to use, if because it gets stuck everywhere. But you saw how fast that was. I mean, I sped it up, but literally it took, what, five minutes, not even to do. Um, and this whole project was super fast to do. And now I have blackout shades for my side windows and soon I will have one for that because I'm gonna be using my van a couple of times here in May and June. And I do wanna get out and do some camping as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys and I'll see you next Sunday.